On this day, December 6, 1978, there was record snow up in the Sangre de Cristos. They recorded 28 inches at Gascon, and that was the highest one-day December snowfall on record there. Also, the third highest one-day record ever recorded. Wow. Lots of snow. We're going to see some by the weekend. Ah, well, but not today. Not today. Thank goodness. All right, time for the five facts. At number five, New Mexico students will soon get a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to learn directly from astronauts aboard the International Space Station through a live chat at UNM. The event is set for Tuesday morning at 10.30. For details, go to krqe.com. Number four now this morning, a New Mexico mom-to-be is thanking first responders who went above and beyond to save her baby during a recent snowstorm. On Thanksgiving, Stephanie Bowles went into labor 11 weeks early in Santa Fe. She had to get to Albuquerque because her baby was too premature. That's when the Santa Fe nurse coordinated a police escort. Albuquerque doctors were able to stop her labor and the premature birth. At number three, it's nice for today. We have high pressure overhead, so we're going to be staying dry as we go through the day today and tomorrow. We'll see changing weather by Sunday. Number two now, two ART buses are out of commission this morning after three bus crashes in less than a week. One crash happened yesterday near Central and Washington. The other two crashes happened on Wednesday. The city says drivers are not paying attention to the bus only lanes. The city is now considering installing more barriers along Central, so be aware of the buses, people. All right, on to number one now. Mother and son from Nevada behind bars this morning in New Mexico after the death of the woman's 12-year-old daughter. 39-year-old Heather Rooks and her 17-year-old son are accused of child abuse. State police say on Sunday Rooks was traveling near Santa Fe with her son and daughter when Rooks claims the girl was throwing a tantrum. She says her son sat on the girl for about 45 minutes until she stopped moving. At some point, someone called for help. The girl was airlifted to a hospital. That's where she later died. If you want to see more on this case, go to our website, krqe.com. Of course, we'll follow the investigation all the way until the end.